Judge Gorsuch has a reputation for an elegant writing style, for being uh, incredibly smart. Uh, he's written a book on assisted suicide. Um, and I think a, a lot of the conservatives in uh, behind the, the voted for President Trump are very happy with this election because they think he's someone that uh, will carry on the Scalia tradition. And now Gorsuch also, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, was Gorsuch was a clerk to uh, to Justice Kennedy, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, and so there's a relationship there. But what do you think of the idea that um, that? the nomination of Gorsuch returns the court to essentially the state that it was in when Justice Scalia was still living, and then the question shifts more to whether Justice Kennedy uh, will have confidence in the process moving forward uh, as far as the next nomination to the court, uh, whether he might uh, give up his seat so that there could be an appointment by, by a new Republican president, uh, or if the if the, not, if the confirmation process, uh, if the rules were changed in the Senate, or if it's an incredibly ugly contest, uh, whether that would, uh, would encourage Kennedy to remain on the court as long as possible. But what's your sense of this, the sort of the second part of, of mm -hmm. how all this might play out in terms of Justice Kennedy's very clear awareness of his role as the, as the central uh, balance mm -hmm. of the court? Well, first of all, I think it's very hard to replace someone like Justice Scalia. He, he not only had a forceful you know, intellect, but he was also had sort of a dynamic personality. And you know, I, don't, I doubt that uh, Judge Gorsuch is going to think of himself as replacing him as, as so much as just you know, uh, becoming a, an, an own just, a new justice in his own right. In terms of going forward, you're right that it doesn't really change the court's jurisprudence in a major way if he votes similarly to Justice Scalia. He won't vote exactly like him because he's his own person. But he, if he doesn't, if he votes similarly, it's not going to change fundamentally the court's direction. It's it's the replacement of a liberal justice or a swing vote like Justice Kennedy that really matters, and we just don't know whether Justice Kennedy is going to want to retire or whether one of the liberal justices will want to retire or something will happen to them. Um, I think that of the justices that we're talking about, Kennedy and some of the more liberal justices from the Clinton era, um, I don't think any of them want to retire, and so I don't know if any of them will retire. Uh, I think some of the liberal justices are perhaps worried about what uh, a, Trump, a second Trump appointment would mean for the court and the Constitution. And I, I think, I suspect that Justice Kennedy enjoys being on the court and isn't going to want to retire. Um, so I think it's, it might have to be involuntary rather than something they choose to do.